He was gentle, predictable, the kind of person who never raised his voice, never broke a rule. Then, almost overnight, he became someone else. He interrupted people mid-sentence, gave strangers advice they didn't ask for. Once he even walked out of a restaurant, furious, just because the forks weren't shiny enough. His family called it a phase, but it wasn't. It was the beginning, because dementia doesn't always take memory first. What if it starts by quietly replacing the person you knew with someone you don't recognize at all? This video uncovers nine erratic character shifts that may surface years before memory loss. Each one is drawn from real, documented stories of people whose personalities began to change long before anyone suspected dementia. Catch these early, and you might protect what matters most. Let's begin with number one, from laid back to controlling. Three years before her Alzheimer's diagnosis, 76-year-old Debbie insisted everything be done a certain way. The thermostat had to be 72. Coasters must align on the coffee table. Her family initially laughed, calling her fussy. But over the years, they noticed Debbie started forgetting small things. She'd miss appointments, repeat questions, or lose her train of thought. That controlling behavior wasn't just quirky. It was the first sign of mental decline. Studies confirm that a loss of cognitive flexibility, especially due to deterioration in the prefrontal cortex, often causes individuals to develop rigid, controlling behaviors. It's not about personality change in the traditional sense. It's about the brain struggling to tolerate unpredictability. That discomfort becomes obsessive order. Loved ones may mistake it for grumpiness or aging stubbornness, but beneath it is fear. The brain trying to cling to structure as its ability to adapt slowly crumbles. Number two, switching between arrogance and insecurity. At 71, Nadine began correcting friends and misquoting news headlines to appear informed. The next day, she'd call her daughter crying, fearing she was getting dumber. These changes began nearly four years before her frontotemporal dementia diagnosis. Over time, her family noted more worrying signs. She forgot neighbors' names and lost track of what she'd said. Her arrogance and panic signaled a troubling decline in her mental clarity. Medical researchers report that fluctuating self-image and emotional inconsistency often signal damage to the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which helps regulate self-awareness and social behavior. When this area deteriorates, the brain can no longer maintain a stable sense of self, leading to emotional confusion and unstable self-esteem. It feels unpredictable to others, but inside, it's a person trying to hold on to who they were while the definition keeps changing. Number three, sudden, reckless impulsivity. 70-year-old Cyrus started gambling online at night. He bought gadgets he never used, interrupted conversations, and once left a wedding during vows, saying, I don't have time for this. The change was shocking. He had always been reserved. As his family adjusted, they saw his mind faltering. Cyrus lost track of days, forgot purchases, and got lost driving to a diner. His impulsive actions were the first signs of a mind unraveling. Two years later, the dementia diagnosis confirmed it. Experts linked orbitofrontal cortex atrophy to loss of impulse control, emotional restraint, and social judgment. This region acts as the brain's internal filter, stopping us before we say or do something inappropriate. When it breaks down, behavior becomes unrecognizable, not due to defiance, but disinhibition. That filter doesn't just fade, it vanishes. And what's left behind is the raw signal, loud, risky, and socially dangerous. Number four, emotional detachment from loved ones. Four years before her Lewy body dementia diagnosis, 73-year-old Odette emotionally withdrew from family events. When her daughter was promoted, she merely said, that's fine. When her grandson was hospitalized, she asked, did they give him a shot? 
There were no hugs or tears, just a troubling calm. Later, she forgot appointments, left pots on the stove, and misplaced important documents. Her emotional absence became their new normal, a hollow version of the Odette they once knew. A large study confirmed that emotional blunting and loss of empathy often precede memory symptoms in various forms of dementia. As the amygdala and anterior cingulate cortex begin to degrade, people don't just express less, they truly feel less. This isn't moodiness or aging indifference. It's a disconnect from emotional reality, and it often leaves families deeply confused because the person is still there physically, but their heart feels far away. Number five, adopting fake or exaggerated personas. At 69, five years before her diagnosis, Geraldine became theatrical. She adopted an exaggerated accent and told jokes, regardless of laughter. Her attire grew flashier and she referred to herself in the third person. This felt like a performance. But soon, the act couldn't hide the cracks. Geraldine forgot names of friends and repeated stories multiple times. Once she asked how long she'd lived in her house, her true personality faded, leaving only the mask behind. Neurologists describe this as compensatory persona behavior, often seen in early semantic dementia. When someone starts losing access to their emotional vocabulary or sense of identity, the brain builds a character, one that's exaggerated, attention-seeking, or scripted. But behind that character is someone who's slipping. These personas aren't an act. They're a survival mechanism, cobbled together from fragments of who the person used to be. Number six, a sudden need for constant reassurance. When his wife went on a weekend trip, 74-year-old Darian called her 10 times daily. He asked where she was, what she was doing, and if she still loved him. Known for his independence, he panicked when she was out of sight. This need for reassurance started three years before his early stage Alzheimer's diagnosis. Soon he lost keys, misplaced his wallet, and forgot conversations minutes after they happened. His anxiety grew, not from loneliness, but from uncertainty about his safety. A 2022 analysis found that early deterioration in the limbic system and hippocampus, regions tied to emotional memory, can trigger an internal sense of danger or loss. The person clings to someone familiar, not out of codependence, but because the world is becoming harder to navigate. Reassurance becomes a lifeline, a way to anchor themselves to reality when their brain can no longer do it on its own. Number seven, becoming obsessed with routines and rituals. Eleonora, 81, developed strict rituals. She lined up her shoes by color, stirred her coffee exactly 12 times, wore a specific scarf every Tuesday. If something disrupted the pattern, like a change in schedule or visitors, she would become visibly distressed. Soon after, she began forgetting people's names confusing days of the week and leaving the oven on. Roughly five years later, she was diagnosed with mixed dementia, but her rituals never faltered. They became her last piece of control in a world that was slipping through her fingers. Research shows that ritualized behavior in dementia is a neurological adaptation to cognitive instability. As the executive function system weakens, the brain defaults to repetition, Rituals offer predictability, reducing anxiety in a world that no longer makes sense. What may look quirky on the surface can actually be a fragile shield built to protect someone who's silently losing their grip on daily life. Number eight, saying hurtful things with no remorse. Two years before his diagnosis, 70-year-old Benson began making cutting remarks at family dinners. He told his niece her haircut was a mistake, laughed at his son's business idea, and once asked his wife if she was trying to get fat. When confronted, he'd say, I was just being honest. Not long after, Benson started forgetting where he put things, asked the same questions repeatedly, 
and struggled to follow simple instructions. The cruelty had been the first red flag long before the confusion set in. A clinical study linked loss of social regulation in dementia, particularly in frontotemporal regions, to a breakdown of empathy and self-censorship. These brain regions let us feel how our words affect others. When they fail, the person isn't trying to hurt people. They simply don't recognize the impact. The silence between intention and outcome grows, and what emerges is raw, unfiltered, and often painful. Number 9. Indifference to things they once loved At 68, Lorraine gave up painting. She stopped attending her art club. Her canvases gathered dust in the garage. When asked why, she just shrugged. Then came the other signs, forgetting dates, burning foods, and zoning out mid-sentence. But it was the disappearance of joy that told her family something was truly wrong. She didn't just lose interest, she lost connection to the emotional core that made her feel alive. Four years later, her doctor diagnosed her with Alzheimer's disease. Studies confirm that apathy and emotional disconnection often appear years before memory loss, in Alzheimer's and related conditions. As the cingulate cortex and reward system weaken, the brain stops responding to activities that once lit it up. This isn't boredom or aging. It's the quiet erosion of inner motivation. When someone walks away from the things that once gave them life, that silence may be the brain's first cry for help. These character changes aren't just quirks. They're signs the brain is shifting behind the scenes, often years before memory problems begin. When you catch these signs early, you aren't just seeing a new habit. You're witnessing the brain's first signals that it's losing its hold. And the sooner you act, the more of that person you may be able to protect. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.